What's happened, everyone? So, with the weather hopefully getting better, which it's not right now, I'm going to give you my five top GMG summer watches for this summer, along with do's and don'ts when traveling with your watch abroad. So, firstly, let's get into the top five. Firstly, in no particular order, we have the AP15720 ST with a khaki green rubber strap. This is a beautiful watch. We've actually got this in stock right now and I've had this on my wrist. So that is number one on the list. Okay, number two on the list is the Rolex Daydate 40 Platinum Reference 228206. This is the Platinum Ice Blue Motif dial with the smooth bezel. This is a beautiful watch, very, very classy and deserves its place on the list. Number three, we have the RMO11 Roberto Mancini. Great watch. Great football manager, head turner, and a classy piece. So on number four, we couldn't have a summer watch list without the Patek Aquanaut 5968A with the orange strap. Perfect summer's watch in my opinion. It's a big boy, it's a great watch, and it should be on every serious watch collector's list, especially for summer, so yeah. And number five on the list, I'm not gonna be too specific with this, but any date just specifically on the Jubilee bracelet. You can obviously have 36 mils, you can have 41 mils, you can have them for ladies, men, whatever your preference, whatever size fits your wrist better, you can have a perfect summer's watch. Obviously different colored dials, the best summer's watch, in my opinion, if I was going to rank them, universally is the date just on a Jubilee bracelet, preferably with a fluted bezel. So next, with the summer theme continuing, I'm going to talk to you about summer do's and don'ts with your watch, specifically for if you're traveling more so than staying at home. Number one, make sure that your watch has just been serviced, make sure that it's working right, make sure it is keeping time so you can be on time for all them dinner dates and whatever else you need to be doing during the summer. Another important thing is to make sure that your watch fits correctly before you go away. Make sure that you leave a little bit of room, make sure that you either put an extra link in or you take an extra link with you if you are handy. The reason for this is no, not that you'll be piling away the food, but the heat makes your wrist expand. So make sure that you do have the correct size for your watch when going away. Again, if you're handy, take a link with you. But on some of the newer models of Rolex, you do have the Easy Link glide system, which means that you can adjust it slightly depending on how much your wrist has swollen. Very, very important. Please make sure that you have travel insurance that covers your watch or watches if you do take them with you away. This is very important. If they get stolen or you lose the watch or damage it, at least you have the correct insurance to make sure you're not having to fork out a fortune to either recover it, replace it, or have it fixed. Now, I'm sure most of you already do, but if you don't, make sure that you have a travel case for your watch. This is very important. It means you can carry a couple with you on the plane but it also means that they do not get damaged by just throwing them on the side or just leaving them out or in your bag or whatever you might do no way we have already touched on this but please make sure that you check how water resistant your watch is but if you are going to be doing water sports i would just advise take your watch off you never know what's going to happen it's probably going to end up at the bottom of the sea if you're braver than me and you are going to go in the water make sure the crown lock is locked and make sure that you check how far under the water you can go with your watch further to this if you are going to go diving just buy a deep sea at least you know you're safe that's it that's all i've got to tell you on that one <laughs> goes without saying but make sure that if you are going to leave watches in your hotel make sure your room has a safe make sure only you have the password to that safe and make sure that you put a little note saying you don't want the maids coming in and out when you're not there that is my top tips